example. Okay. He said that he supports that and he wants to make sure uh, that that's not something that gets lost. Jim? I mean, it was pretty obvious that the president was mocking Christine Blasey Ford last night. He said, uh, how did you get home? I don't remember. How did you get there? I don't remember. Where is this place? I don't remember. Uh, he, he seemed to be, to the delight of the crowd there in Mississippi, mocking her repeatedly. Isn't there something wrong with the President of the United States mocking somebody who says she was sexually assaulted? It seemed to me that he was stating facts that Dr. Ford herself uh, laid out in her testimony. Once again, uh, every single word that Judge Kavanaugh has said has been looked at, examined, picked apart by most of you in this room, but not no one is looking at uh, whether or not the accusations made are corroborated, whether or not there's evidence to support them. Every person that she named uh, has come out and said either they didn't recall it or it didn't happen or they weren't there. Every single bit of evidence and facts that we've seen in this moment have supported Judge Kavanaugh's case. And the president simply pointed out the facts of the matter. And that is what the Senate will have to use to determine whether or not they vote to support him or not. Are you saying, John, are you saying Judge Kavanaugh is the victim in all this? I think both Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh uh, are victims at the hands of the Democrats. I think it is absolutely disgraceful what they've done and exploited this process. They exploited Dr. Ford. They're exploiting all of the women that have come out to make any type of accusation. This isn't the process that should have been done, and certainly everybody deserves to be heard, but that includes Judge Kavanaugh, and that should be part of this process, and the facts have to be looked at, and I think you have to look at the prosecutor's memo. Those are where uh, you see all of those facts laid out, and I think she makes a very compelling case. John, go ahead. Thank you. You don't have any problem defending the I don't have any right. problem stating facts, no. John. Thank you, Sarah. Just five I know that's ago. something you probably do have a problem with, but I don't. Actually, Sarah, we do state the facts, and I think there have been many occasions when you don't state the facts, if I may respond. John, go ahead. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, just five days ago on